to where the birth of so many DJs uh, passed through me, and then especially, I mean, singers, the likes of Rebellion, and all of the uh, Gambia, Biden rap was coming up, and it was like huge. So everybody want your music to play. So I think uh, it started back in there, and then since then there is no looking back, and then uh, I'm proud to the people even try to, uh, I mean, call Brickham as one of the majors of uh, Gambian music, especially they say, some say, some will even tell you, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, reggae town, but it, it just all goes through the media, and I think um, Brickham is very Well, it's a name you guys deserve. I mean, most of Gambia's hottest reggae artists come from Brickham. You have Rebellion, the Recaller, you have Benjamin, you have Hurricane. And you have a lot of jellies. The great jelly bar Kuyate is from Bekama. So <laughs> you guys did play a huge role <laughs> in the music industry. I mean, come on, there's no music industry without Bekama. You have to give Bekama their due for that, for producing such talented artists. But how is it like, uh, you know, working with them, playing their music and the love and appreciation? Because Bekama is filled with very loving people and you know, they know how to support their own. Mm -hmm. That much I can say. Mm -hmm. They know how to support their own. Mm -hmm. But um, what role do you play when it comes to promoting art artists, especially local artists coming from Bikama? All right. Um, here in, 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 in the FMB radio station, uh, we have a lot of programs that promote Gambian music. And in fact, even if you can listen to the background, it's the famous, you know, the ladies' rhythm that is playing right now. So you can say we don't have time for the Gambian music here. But mostly for um, Afro Monday, like Jaliba Kuyate, the Tata Dinnings, and the like, we have a special program in the morning that we call Fanoketa. This is early morning after the news hour, after the preaching. We play this to tell the it's morning time, wake up, wake up, you know. So we play a lot of uh, Gambian, especially the Jaliba It is not, I mean, a lot of uh, Afro Monday music. This is a time. And we play them and a lot of people love it and then in fact we have a very uh, a very big program that is uh, recognized especially in the Gambia called you know Sarah Dima which features Jaliba quite a mostly Jaliba but it plays all other music too it comes on Wednesday and apart from that also uh, the Gambian uh, you, you when you walk in I think there's a lady MC who talked to you about uh, inviting you guys on Monday he got a special program that plays Gambian but this time uh, the Gambians that are doing different being reggae R&B or whatever you know that is the young the young generation the T-smalls and the like like, you know, sometimes when it comes to albums, I get it, but uh, you get these people, they come to me and they give me their promotion when they have a program at Joko or in Brikama. For me, I don't think that's the time you need promotion. You need promotion at any time. Bring your tapes, Gambian artists, bring your tapes to FMB, we'll play it for you. And anytime you want to come to Brikama, Brikama and the Saran will know that all the artists that we hear in his music from FMB, so it's the one playing. So that added to me. Like I said, well, I'm very happy coding the last filler uh, anniversary. I, I just said, oh God, come on, what we are praying is finally here because Gambia have ownership of their own music. How many people comes? Today even T Smalls or ST or Benjamin is praying at Joko. A lot of people come. So that means they come in gradual and I think that now they're taking ownership of their music, Mama Allen. I love that. I remember one day this time I came past this place and I saw Philo Crew written. And I was like, oh my God, we have a crew in Birkava. Yes, and I went back and I told Wagan about it. But I never got the chance to come and chill with you guys. Yes. So today, that's all I want to do. But tell me, what is life in Birkava like? But as a crew, you guys chill almost every day, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So what do you guys do in your normal lives, apart from chilling as a crew, differently, individually? What do you guys do? Yeah. Some are students and we have some uh, teachers, some uh, uh, laborers, work, workers, you know, some do football. And, so you yeah. guys work all day and mm. come and chill? Yeah. yeah, when you have free yeah. time, you come together, sit, share ideas, as youths, as you can see on our logo that justice among youths makes them love each other. Why Fila Crew? Why did you guys name yourselves Fila Crew? The reason behind Fila itself? Yeah, Fila. I think they name it no, no. after Fila, like feel that you normally used to do on TV, of course, yeah. What's your guys' relationship with Gambian music? Uh, we are all musical fans. We all support music, and we, all, we support Gambian music as well. Okay, so tell me, here in Brickham, who's the biggest artist? Biggest artist. Yeah. Oh, okay, not biggest, per se, but let's say your favorite. Yeah. Your my favorite? favorite is Benjamin. Benjamin's your favorite. Yeah, he's my favorite. And 
the same goes for all you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. No different opinions? We yeah. are real frontline fans. No, I know on the front line, they yeah. dominate. Yeah. Very common. It's common. all front lines Line, yeah. around here, you know? Okay, this is our final stop in Bekama, and we cannot come to Bekama and leave without talking to one of their finest upcoming artists, and that's Idealistic. You've seen him at the Open Mic Festival. He was there, and he did his thing on stage, and, you know, he had so much love, and he is a product of Bekama. Like I said earlier in my intro, there are so many talented artists that came from Bekama, from Jelly Bakuyate all the way down to Idealistic himself. What's up, Star? How you doing? Yeah, man, Black. I'm mean, there, cool, man. It's a pleasure, and you know, it's a joy for me to see Phil come in a big camera and set up them thing there for the people, try to uplift the youth them. Mm -hmm. You know, so we say it's here, yeah, it's Phil. It so we say big up the Phil crew and big up all of the, you know, family and you know, X Miles, Waga, and Black, and yourself, you know, and everything, I right, man. Bless up, man. Yeah, man. Bless up. Yeah. So tell me, idealistic. Uh, How's music been for you? You started music since when? Yeah, Blacker, uh, you know, to be candid, you know, it's part of me since me was born. Yeah, but me coming at the business just around 2007. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the time it's business. But uh, way back, you know, in history, you know, when you go back, you know, many people, they must tell you, say that, you know, the youth has been there, you know, since when. And, you know, before uh, them man, they call me, you know, I'm a GD and youth, so, and it was around 90, 98 to 99 to 2000. But later on, you know, something happened to me, you know, that's it, you know, I have to stop music and I do another thing, like I was military minded, you know? So, but later, at the time you come in a big camera, and we see that the industry in big camera, you know, it's a big thing. So, I have to, like, I have to, you know, Get in, you know, and try to see what's going on. So, me start the business again around 2007. That's when we start the business strictly. Right. Yeah. So, um, have you launched an album yet, or you're still working on that? Yeah, Blacker, uh, you know, I'm still working on that yeah, because uh, we all know what's going on in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. True. You know, like, it's not something hidden. We all mm -hmm. see it. So, are uh, we just, they are working at from state to state, step by step, you know, to make sure that what we want, you know, it be a professional thing, yeah? It be a natural thing. And when it hit out, the people will like it. So that's why I'm here still working on my thing. And me just telling the people, let them watch me out around April, something new for them. Come there working on my 24 single compilation. Strictly mad for the people. Black. See that? Yeah, man. I will let you yeah. them know about it. Show that yeah, man. Real, man. Yeah. So, what is life like in Bekama for an artist? I mean, because Bekama is a place where people love their artists, people show enough love and respect for their artists, they have enough support for them. So, what's it like being an artist here in Bekama? Yeah, Black, uh, you know, that's everything I can say. Yeah, because in a big camera, mm -hmm. from your artist, you want, you know, go forward. Things that have become a good place.